So, Craig Lawrence, tell me about your collection. This season um, was kind of inspired a lot more like based on um, construction. So we started off by knitting circles, and it was just kind of constructing these circles around the body and experimenting by um, kind of enlarging the circles to make them into big billowing dresses. Um, so yeah, it's kind of more about construction. It's very African looking, no? Yeah, I think so. I think this one was cut off velvet. Really? So it was... We kind of wanted, because it's winter, we wanted to make things that were kind of... that looked warm. Um, and then experimented with a bit of elastic as well this season. It was kind of to create like a, a fake pile. Like the fur, like the fur I do here. This one's all hand linked. So this one gives like the same the same effect. with the cotton tape here and then with the elastic and then the velvet I kind of wanted I wanted to keep it dark this season so you could so the concentrations on the construction rather than kind of wowing people with like colour and people concentrating on the colour. So how long have you been designing? This is my fifth season now. So kind of graduated in 2008 um, and then just been doing fashion weeks and my own collections ever since. And how's it going? It's good. It's quite exciting. It's, 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 I really like the nerves before the show because everything I knit I like but then it's just it's so exhilarating kind of having presenting my, my opinion of knitwear to people. It's great that people are interested in my opinion. You know they're having that exhibit at um, Antwerp MoMA on Knits. I think it's in a couple of weeks. Anybody ever approach you for that or no? That sounds familiar. Um, I think so. We've, we've got a few pieces. We've got a dress, a big gold foil dress that's going in the V&A. Yeah. They're doing... Uh, yeah, they're doing... Um, have you got the gold foil dress? The a picture of it, the one that's going in V&A. And you did the shoe? Yeah, these were a shoe collaboration this season with Christy and McCarthy. This one? Let me see if I can get a better picture of it. That's great. Yeah, and there's another... I think they're taking three of your dresses for the V&A, actually. But they're keeping the gold one for, the, for their archive. Yeah, it's great. And it's got lots of um, uh, exhibitions that it's going to go into. So they have to be confirmed. Yeah, there's one in Act 12 as well. And then that's the one on March 15th. It's the next one. The next one, yeah. There's going to be a piece of there as well. They just haven't confirmed which. Oh no, it's the Bolero, isn't it?
Yeah, because I didn't arrive till yesterday afternoon. Because uh, Federico also writes for Vogue Italy. I think um, Sarah, Benamina, Sarah, Sarah Menno, Menno, she came, yeah. yeah. She's great. Yeah, he had a really great response. So. I love Sarah. Sarah, you know, her mother is the only one person. It's a power family. Power family, and she's This one's real. That's where this, that piece there, which, look at that one. That's the skirt that's on. Yeah, that's yeah. the Because I think when you, also, I think, yeah, Craig's is really mean to be on. No, but some people, like, you know, you can hang one, like Mary, you can just hang it and it looks really like, But I think Craig's need to be on the body. Square, just opposite Lane Crawford, and yeah, and it's got a new stockist in London called Village Bicycle. They're launching, I think, next next month. They're gonna have an opening party. Yeah, it's similar. Yeah, it sounds really interesting. So. Very cool. And Lake Clare is a great place in Paris because yeah. they're very loyal. I think they always look for something that's absolutely not referencing somebody else. <laughs> and I think RA as well. Yeah. Ralph in yeah. Antwerp. Yeah. They have a, they a great shop. Have you ever visited? No, yeah. I've never been to Antwerp. I'm not shaking my head like that. I love like that. Yeah, no. so it was like, I remember both of them when they were students at Antwerp when they opened the shop. And uh, I think it's much better as creating an environment to present a platform for other people. Very nice. It's very like you go in there and you, yeah, well, I think you even, want to buy. Well, yeah, even with Craig, it's comfortable. They're taking the you know the more like risky pieces as well, which is yeah, it's because really nice. I don't think they need to make it. <laughs> you can just create this image that can go on as long as it can go on, and then it disappears. But in the meantime, it's great. <coughs> or it just seems to be So that's great. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming up. Pleasure. Good, so I'll take a quick look around.